because I don't want to see any more Trey Song situations happening after today. If it happens again, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad because especially like, how does it even get to a certain point after people start coming out and saying, hey, this is my experience? I don't care how many bitches come out. You know, I got to see for myself. I got to know unless I have concrete evidence that, okay, yeah, you're a sexual abuser. Let's talk about it. Do what I said. Don't make me have to beg. Uh. Make sure that I am fed. You know this heat is the best. Yeah. Yeah. Funny, but it is. It's not funny, but it is. Y'all gonna be mad at me, but I don't give a damn. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin with this whole Trey songs, Trey Cosby, <laughs> Trey Biz songs. Like, cause it's not funny, but it is. Listen, and it just seemed like the theme of today is read the Yelp reviews. It just feels like that. Is, I mean, that's the whole reason I'm back because it's all about accountability. And it's like everybody else can dance around their subjects and dance around. I don't give a fuck. I just, I guess I'm just be the one. I'm going to be the Monique. I'm going to be the one throwing myself into the line of fire. Oh, my nipple showing. I'm going to be the one throwing myself into the line of fire and getting canceled because. Let me get y'all the backstory. So, Trey out here raping bitches and, and sexually assaulting motherfuckers. And while that shit is definitely not funny. Definitely not funny. Definitely not funny. Um, there's a conversation there. There's a couple of different conversations there that we need to have. Let's talk about it. But let's focus on the facts, which I don't have memorized. So we just, we're going to focus on the opinion. Trey is out here doing the motherfucking most. And um, it wasn't like y'all bitches wasn't warned. Wasn't like y'all were not warned. Notice how every couple of months it's because well, and I will say this because we're gonna play devil's advocate. I haven't gotten canceled several times before. I also having studied people that have gotten canceled, like a Nikki. I also watching, you know, um, smear campaigns and things like that. Like I know a smear campaign when I see it, and sometimes there are things that happen, and it's just like okay. This is a little too convenient. Like, is this for real? Is this reality? Is this for life? Like, what's going on? And so, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hold you. I feel away. I don't give a fuck. As more and more Trey Songz news had came out over the months and months, I was like, okay, well... It's like, you don't really know how to feel because it's like, okay, well, groupie culture, okay, but then if he did it, okay, but, you know, ooh, Trey, okay, but like... And then it's just like, is this shit a smear campaign? Because this is like, it's popping up a lot. It's popping up a lot. And there's a lot of things that I just don't agree with. And I feel like we just live in such an illusionary world. And this is, I've just been saying it in every video that I've recorded today, but this is why I'm back. This is why I'm excited for the Let's Start Their podcast that I'm going to be doing very soon because. There's a lot of unprogramming and, and discussions that we need to have and things that we need to do because I just feel like so much of the world that we're living in right now is bullshit. Let's talk about it. It's bullshit. It's illusions. I feel like a lot of us are living in a fantasy. And I feel like a lot of us have the right intentions with conversations with the wrong reactions or I don't know. And so when it comes to Trey Songs, I want to make this very clear. If Trey Songs is out here... I'm not even going to say raping motherfuckers. If Trey is really out here just asserting his power and making anyone feel uncomfortable at any level, at any rate, that nigga need to go to jail or hell. He need to go to jail or hell. If Trey Songz is out here making anyone, not even just women, not black women, not the... We're not going to attach your trauma to it. If Trey is making any human feel uncomfortable, he needs to go to jail or hell. And that's just, that's how I feel period about life. But there are a couple of things that I want to discuss with this Trey situation. For one, why every time Trey name is brought up in the media, which again, recently, 
which is why I'm like, is this some sort of smear campaign? Just literally asking. And it's the fact that you can't even ask that in 2022. You cannot ask that because then it's like, oh my God, are you victim shaming? Are you did it not? Bitch, what if I was? Which one do you want to be my ass? I'm asking a little fucking question. What's going on? Let's get into it then. Because it's like one, every once a week, at least once a week, at least a couple times a month, it's a new victim coming out. So it's like, okay, when, when the hell did Trey have time to become Bill Cosby? And during the time of Bill Cosby, why all of that ain't come out then? Why it seem like we only focus on one rapist, one, one, one sexual allegation, one sexual abuser every couple of years? Like, I can't be the only one confused. I can't be the only one confused because then in a couple of years, once this Trey shit is pushed to aside, then all of a sudden it, it'll be new allegations about a new person and that was happening during this time. It's just... But why every time Trey's name is brought up, somehow y'all find a way to involve Kiki Palmer into the situation. What I want y'all to do is release our good girl Kiki. Like, first of all, even though Kiki probably don't even know that her name is, is, is going viral every time along with Trey Songz and this bullshit... Okay, does Kiki, Miss Kiki, a job? <clears throat> she probably always, well, not probably. She's constantly always on set, constantly always working. So she probably don't even know. Let's get into it then. But the fact that her name does come up, I want y'all to stop that because that's her having to relive her trauma. That's her having to relive, re relive her experience. And, and imagine how that must feel for her. Because y'all want to quit Kiki. Y'all want to, well, Kiki told you. And, da -da -da. It's like, and I know I'm part of the problem right now. But listen, bitch, this is my first and last video mentioning Kiki with this situation. Okay? Because I'm proving a point. Support me, bitch. But it's like, let Kiki go. Let Kiki go out of the situation. Like, Kiki did try to tell y'all. And none of y'all hoes listen. None of y'all hoes listen because y'all, <laughs> those shit experience will be different. Which brings me to my next point because I just, I just, I don't. I feel sorry for any victim where it happened before these allegations started coming out. I do. I do. Um, for any victim out there, period, yes. Condolences. Obviously, all of that. But I feel more so worse for, or more empathy for those who had no prior knowledge of Trey being whatever. Anything that happens at this point, after right now, today... If there's a new allegation that comes out next year or in a couple of months about something that Trey done did today, I don't feel bad. And I don't feel bad for not saying that I feel bad. And the thought of being canceled or the thought of being, looking like an asshole for not trauma bonding, right? we're not going to do that. I don't feel bad for anyone who's not reading the Yelp reviews. It's like, why do you think you're going to have a different experience? If all of these allegations are out there about this man, why is that someone you're like, wait, hmm, hmm. they're saying he's a rapist. They're saying he's a sexual abuser. Let's find out and see. Cardi B, you know where I be. Let's talk about it. No. Why are you going out there like, dumb, dumb. Second of all, this whole thing with, oh, victim shaming you can't victim shame and we're always gonna stand by the victim first and no the fuck we not no we no the fuck we not let me tell you why that's problematic because bitches lie bitches lie niggas a dog bitches a bitches and bitches lie y'all out here scamming and trapping and and lying to motherfucking niggas about oh i'm pregnant and then using that money to buy furniture and you expect me to believe that y'all ain't out here lying about getting a tax so y'all can get a quick bag? Baby, y'all doing y'all doing more for less than that. I have a problem with that. And I want to confront that head on. It's motherfuckers that's out here fucking to get a baby. That's a bag. So if you really think that bitches ain't out here lying on niggas, and I'm not saying that everybody's lying on Trey. I'm not here to defend Trey. I don't know that nigga. I'm not, okay, look, okay, okay, what are you gonna do, blackball me from the industry, he ain't got, okay, like, I'm not here to defend or stand with him, this ain't nothing about that, I'm speaking more so to this whole culture of you can't victim shame or you can't da da da, like, and I'm not saying to go out 
victim blaming and then this set and this third. But this whole culture of are we automatically going to stand with the victim? No, the fuck we not. No, no, the fuck we not. Because see, then people want to have issue with, and this is why in every video today I've said it's trauma sells because people don't realize how much of an illusion, how much of a bubble we live in because we're so constantly worried about trauma bonding that nothing ever gets solved and there's no accountability taken. Baby, if you got touched in 2000 and it's now 2022, I'm sorry. I'm going to ask you, why did you not speak up? I'm going to. Especially when you've had every opportunity. And what happens now in 2022 is that we get into this space of, well, you know why they didn't speak up. You know why they didn't call the cops. Because look at what happens to that. Si okay, that was that situation. What happened to Megan? What happened to Sally? And what happened to Kim don't mean that's what happened to Elizabeth. And if, if Elizabeth assumed because it happened to Megan, Sally, and Kim that it was what happened to her, that's on her. Checks and balances with this shit, baby. It's like, and it sucks. It sucks. But at the end of the day, imagine how much more it would fucking suck if we had people that are out here just blindly, openly, without consequence, able to accuse people of heinous things and get away with it. Anytime we're bringing up crimes and shit like this, it's never going to be pretty. And I feel like people need to get that out of their mind, right? Because again, it's protect the woman, protect black women, and protect the victim, and this, that, and the third. But it's like, what if that, that person that's being accused truly did nothing? So it's just like, oh, let them out there to hang dry because we all want to trauma bond and empathize with, with somebody because we feel like, oh my God, what if that was us? Oh my God, what if that was me? Oh my God, because she looks like me or she's my age. That could have been me. So I'm going to stand by her no matter what, even if she's wrong. And that's the thing, you don't know who's wrong until you know who's wrong. And then in a lot of cases, you don't even know who's wrong. Because when it goes to trial, even if it makes it that far in the second and the third, it's just like whoever has the best case. And it's like, but there is power and dangerous power on both sides. There's dangerous power in just believing the victim, just like there is dangerous power in just believing the person has been accused and i don't know i just feel like there needs to be more checks and balances with all of that i feel like everything needs to be everything needs to remain neutral until evidence is, is put together right again trauma sells and so a lot of things that happen in this world people emotionally react to before logically reacting to and so again i'm not here to i'm not here to say that trey songs is innocent i'm not i'm not because at some point, it does become where there's smoke, there's fire. Just like I'm aware that, you know, there are several companies and higher ups and, and money and influence that will pay people to go out there and lie because they want to take you down for whatever reason. Okay? Because people will be like, well, what reason would they want to take you down? Trey not even relevant right now. We didn't... You never know. You never know, baby. Like, so we got to get out of this habit of thinking we know everything. It happens, okay? So just like there's that reality of there being a smear campaign about him, there's also the reality that maybe he actually did do this shit. Or maybe there's a reality that he didn't do all this shit, but he did something. And even if he did something, he deserves a consequence. You understand what I'm saying? But we have to get out of the habit of feeling like we know everything or completely just automatically being sold to one idea without having all the facts, without, you know, um, being logical, you know, just because we're, we're so emotionally engaged. Now, another thing that I want to bring into this conversation is groupie culture, because this is where accountability comes in for me, right? Let's talk about it. Because even if we speak about Kevin Samuels, who a couple of weeks ago, he made a comment, and mind you, I don't really like Kevin Samuels. I... I don't fuck with anybody that's male identified. I also don't fuck with female identified people, aka feminists or whatever the fuck y'all call it nowadays. I don't fuck with anybody who only sees things one way, right? So I don't I don't fuck with any male males, men who just only believe that their way is the way of, and I don't believe the opposite, okay? Because there are a lot of women, especially on YouTube, who feel like men are dogs and this, that, and a third, and only women are right, and there's no accountability there either. I like I don't fuck with either side. But there is something that he said that made sense. Kevin Samuel said something to the effect of, basically, if you ain't trying to fuck, then don't expect to go out with me after a certain time. 
Okay? Like, if you ain't trying to fuck them, we need to plan a date during the afternoon. Like, don't plan a date after, like, 8 o'clock or da-da-da-da. And all the women across wherever, podcasts and YouTube and da-da-da, went the fuck off against Kevin and spoke their opinions like, oh, no, how are you going to police a woman's body? This, that, and the third. And it's just like, again, trauma responses. Because everybody is so emotionally invested, emotionally ready to go the fuck off. And it's just like, at what point do we sit down and take actual accountability? At what point are we realistic with things and how the world actually works? And I feel like so much of culture and society, we, because we are so emotionally impulsive, because we just instantly react based off of what we've been through and our trauma and our emotions... We don't really think about the consequences of shit. We don't really think about the way that shit is actually going down and how we play a part in the bigger scenario going on, right? Of course, we all have this idea and this vision of the perfect world that we would want. But that's not reality. So we have to deal with what is being presented to us at this time. And the whole point of us being here on this earth is that if there are things within life that we don't like, every single day we are given the opportunity to go out there and make small, you know, strides towards the bigger picture to eventually hopefully being able to change all of that, right? Now, what am I saying? Let's relate that and bring that back to all of that back to this Trey Song situation. Because there are people, and a lot of people, who feel as though you're dealing with a superstar. You're dealing with somebody who is clearly you know, influential. Clearly they have money, they have access. And if Trey Song tells you to come over, regardless what time it is, because it's Trey Songs, it's Trey Songs. So you should already know, okay? This is the guy who has made a career off of singing sexual music and the neighbors know my name and, you know, Mr. Still Your Girl. Let's talk about it. So when Mr. Still Your Girl invites you over, you should already know what's about to go down. Let's get into it then. Now, we can get into debates all day. You know, there's a lot of people that feel like, you know, it doesn't matter who invites you over what. If you say no, no, it's not. Your body is your body. And yes, I will never deny that. I will never deny that. Right? There's also certain people who take it a step further and feel like, I don't care if we're already engaged in sex. If I say no, then it's no. That gets a little tricky. But again... That's a whole different conversation. Let's focus on the fact that this is Mrs. Celia Girl that is inviting you over someplace. If Mrs. Celia Girl invited me over, I'm just going to assume he's trying to fuck. So when it actually happens, again, I do have the option to say no, but I'm not going to stick around. Now, if there are instances, again, where... You go over, already knowing, clearly, Mrs. Celia Girl is going to want some sex. And you say no. And you're trying to leave. And it's like, I'm taking your keys. I'm taking your phone. I'm locking the door, smashing your head against the window. Or I'm just physically inserting myself inside you and all of this. And a third, throw that man away. Throw his ass in jail. Throw his ass in jail. And I believe I've heard some, like, I don't want to put that out there about him. But I've definitely heard that about people. And I feel like one of these situations, maybe the recent one or something like that, throw that ass in jail. My bad, y'all. That was Siri. She said, throw that ass in jail. Okay? But then on the flip side, it's like... But... Because I... I don't feel like a lot of these conversations are as black and white as people want to make them seem. I don't feel like these conversations are as black and white as people want to make them seem. I don't. And that's why I'm thinking about it because it's just like, as a parent, I know that I'm, I'm gonna raise my children in a certain way, right? And in 2022, I feel like so many of y'all live in this illusion world where it's just like, you want things to go a certain way and not saying that it won't ever go that way or that you're wrong to feel that things should go that way. But the reality is it doesn't. It doesn't. And so for me, already seeing how things are, you know, 
being a woman myself, understanding, you know, what it's like to walk down the street and get catcalled or, you know, being afraid in the middle of the night and, and you know, feeling like you have to carry mace or like, you know, carry pepper spray, carry a, well, not a gun. <laughs> Not a guy. <laughs> she ain't no thug. She ain't no thug, okay? But, you know, being in a position where you feel vulnerable, especially against men and things like that, it's like there are conversations that you have with your daughters, right? Where you say, hey. Because I don't feel like these conversations are being had. Or at least not to the depth that I feel like they need to be, right? Sure. Should you be able to walk out the house wearing whatever the fuck you want to? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, but like I said in the Jim Jones video and the Shikari video, it's like you can do whatever the fuck you want to do in this world, but understand that there are always going to be checks and balances. There's always going to be laws. There's always going to be uh, confinements, constrictions. Like there's always going to be a duality, something, a right, a wrong, something, some side of the spectrum. Whatever choice you make with anything is going to fall somewhere. And you're just, because you made that decision, you're going to have to now be accountable for that. And I feel like so much of the culture, especially within black culture, but just American culture as well, it's like we make these decisions and we wanna do these things and go about life a certain way and then get mad when certain consequences or events happen, right? And so, yes, in a perfect world, you should be able to wear whatever the fuck you want. You should be. But until we get to that point, be smarter around men. Right? Because if your fear is, I don't want to get attacked, I don't want to be sexually approached, just that and a third. When you go out, make sure you have proper tools, right? Make sure you have a frontal speed dial. Make sure you're sending out your location before you get into an Uber with a strange person. Like, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, before we do certain things, we know, right? You know. If you know you're not trying to have sex, then don't go back, you know, with a guy back to his place in the middle of the night. Like, the, like, like, mix me with all of this fucking bullshit up, like, because it kills me. It kills me. And so much of this has been happening with the Trace Owens conversation, right? And not faulting anybody saying that, you know, they didn't have the right to say no or they didn't did it out. But it's just like, at some point, y'all bitches got to stop and y'all got to start being accountable and just become accountable, Right? Because we, we gotta get a, we gotta gotta get a, get out of this mindset of I can do whatever the fuck I want without consequence. If a nigga is inviting you back to his place, you know what's going on. If a nigga is hitting you up saying, "Hey, you smoke," you know what's going on. If somebody says, "Hey, let's Netflix and chill," and they're not your best friend, you know what's going on. So when things happen, I'm not saying you're, but come on, come on. Because I don't want to see any more Trey Song situations happening after today. That's why I said earlier, if it happens again, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Because especially, like, how does it even get to a certain point after people start coming out and saying, hey, this is my experience and this is what happened? Because on the flip side, I also believe I'm not just, I don't care how many bitches come out. You know, I got to see for myself. I got to know unless I have concrete evidence that, okay, yeah, you're a sexual abuser. Because I can see 100 people come out. How I know all 100 people weren't paid. I need to see actual factual evidence that yeah, blood was da 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 or da 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 not that you understand what that's the type of person I am. I'm a hard learner. So I'm not knocking any anybody who goes through life experiencing shit a little bit differently or delayed because they have to see for themselves and this that and a third, but it becomes problematic when there are toxic situations like this. You know what I'm saying? It's like one victim, two victims, three victims. That was enough. Once we start getting the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th, damn sure the 20th, it's like, how the fuck did we get here? Are y'all bitches not paying attention? Because I'm sorry, I only got with so much empathy for some, for, for, for some of y'all. I can't empathize with every last one of y'all. Because a lot of y'all, again, sold 1 through 5, sold 1 through 10. Sold the girls before you and said, nah, I'm different. Or nah, that didn't really happen. And you chose that. So I'm just here to say, you know, for the bitches in the back, when it comes to these situations, it's very black and white. And I feel like the best thing for all of us, myself included, best thing for all of us to do is to hold judgment as hard as it may be. Deal with your trauma. Okay, stop projecting and stop, you know, assuming that, oh, yeah, because I went through this, that, and the third, I'm going to automatically stand with her. You don't know this bitch. You do not know this bitch. And just because she got a vagina between her legs and you got one between your legs and both of y'all had times where y'all dealt with dicks, that don't mean that she's right and he's lying. And just because you're a fan of his don't mean that he's right and she's lying. Hold off on judgment. 
mind our business. Because truly, this ain't got shit to do with us. It ain't like we fucking them. We can feel bad as humans, but we ain't fucking them. But sit back, mind your business, reserve judgment until it gets to a place where there's hard data, hard facts, hard all of that, right? And as far as accountability, start practicing some of that. Because I'm afraid for what people are out here teaching their kids. Because the way that people go up on these podcasts and on YouTube and it's just like, well, no man should be touching you. And if you say no and this, that, and that, okay, but what happens? What ha Like, that's you expecting and assuming that, first of all, you should not go into the world expecting any nigga, let alone any human being, to have been raised and have the same moral and ethics and code as you. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't raised that way. I was, well, technically I raised myself. Now, wait a minute. That's highly interesting if you want to say that. We're not going to get triggered. Birds in the problem's not going to come out. We're not going to get triggered. <laughs> Too late. Where's my water? Girl, it's over there. I'm triggered and <laughs> I'm triggered and dehydrated. Oh, my God. <sighs> Let me have you up in this video. You should not be going out into the world expecting or assuming anybody's ethics, morals, any of that, right? Because y'all saying, oh, these niggas should know better and da da da, but they don't. And don't assume that they do. So until we get to the point where it's confirmed that they know better and they doing better and they moving better, oh bitch, we gonna move with mace, we gonna move with guns if we have to. We gonna unload a motherfucking clip if we feel wrong, okay? If a nigga breathe wrong, pop, 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 pop. Period. <laughs> Period. Enough said, enough done, okay? There won't have to be no cops. There won't have to be no sitting in silence for 10 years until I felt comfortable to come out. And that's another thing. <sighs> this won't have to be a whole nother video at this point because I ain't even got <laughs> enough charge on this phone. But that's another thing. That's a whole other part of the conversation. I didn't have enough confidence to come and speak when I... How many times y'all gonna use that story? Everybody ain't that goddamn insecure. Everybody ain't that goddamn worried. I just didn't want to be blackballed. Bitch, you work at McDonald's. What career? Like... <laughs> But it's because so many people have not dealt with their trauma, trauma cells. And so what's going to happen? I know I got this situation. I know I want to win. Even if I'm completely in the right, I'm going, I'm going to play this shit the fuck up. Okay? Because if I say X, Y, and Z, that's going to pull on the heartstrings and, you know, them trigger words, some buzzwords. I didn't feel comfortable coming out. I didn't feel I could. I didn't feel appropriate. I didn't feel like me talking, I would be heard as a black woman. Like, it's like when we say these things, it, it, people go, ooh, ooh, ooh. She's right. She's right. Throw that man in jail. Sorry, Trey. Sorry, Trey. Now your cellmate's gonna know your name, okay? Mm-mm. Soon as people hear them buzzwords, they... Ooh. And they put on their Captain Saber how bad. Uh, like, I... <laughs> Listen, like I said, not that people wrong or right. Look, y'all heard what the fuck I said. I'm not about to repeat myself. If you still don't get the point of this video, baby. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> All right, so I love each and every one of y'all. Definitely make sure that you, especially if you got my opinions and, you know, my love. Okay. Make sure that you are listening to Let's Start There, the podcast, okay? Which is going to be dropping pretty much everywhere, okay? Um, officially, very soon. And um, probably this week. Yeah, probably this week. And definitely make sure you're following everything on screen and then below. And I'm in a... Let me hear it in this video because I can't. Make sure that y'all are following all my social media on screen in the description box below. Let me see. Anything else? Uh, then that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. Um, Yeah. Stream the music. There is new box coming out soon. Okay. I love each and every one of y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Let's start there. Yeah.